Welcome to Stoke-on-Trent, a city that, if any city ever did, deserves the title post-industrial wasteland. It's a unification of six towns, about halfway between Birmingham and Manchester. And look at the state of it, folks. Everywhere I go, boarded up shops and just desolation. Stoke, very much rose to prominence, centre of the pottery industry in the UK, but in the last few decades, that industry has been in heavy decline due to cheap foreign imports. Consequently, it's quite a deprived place to say the least. A quarter of a million people live in the Stoke area, yet I'm walking round what is generally considered to be the centre of Stoke, Hanley, and there are a few people around for what you would expect being the central shopping area of a city that size. Half the shops are boarded up and most people I spoke to seem pretty miserable. So yeah, let's take a walk around Stoke today. I'll show you the state that the city is in. We'll see if we can meet any locals and see what they think about their city, Stoke-on-Trent in 2023. Let's go. What's life like in Stoke? Oh, brilliant. Yeah? Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. What about all the boarded up shops? It's, it's probably... Fucked yeah, I don't know, fuck it, don't, don't bother you. Yeah, it's a pub good. Probably brilliant. I think he's had one too many, folks. Is he all right? Yeah, yeah. Are you picking him up? Or? I don't know. Shut the door for me. Yeah, yeah. He told me to shut the door, mate. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Are you going with him, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What a wild place. Hanley High Street on a Friday afternoon. Monkey, I'm filming me, look. Monkey Dust Capital. Monkey Dust Capital? Yeah. If you look at all the homeless around here, mate, they're all... Monkey Dust. What's Monkey Dust? It's a synthetic drug. Yeah, like spice. Yeah. yeah. Hanley, where even the town hall is for sale. Sorry mate, just filming the town hall. <laughs> a lot of people in Stoke that are hanging around in doorways and they seem to be living the street life, whether they're homeless, I'm not sure. But there's definitely a lot of drugs on the streets in Stoke. One pint of your finest, please, barman. Certainly, coming right up. There we go, sir. You wouldn't be kind enough to share the Wi-Fi code as well, would you? Of course. The network is pub Wi-Fi, and the password is dodgy123. That sounds sinister. It's a good job I use NordVPN to keep myself safe when I use public Wi-Fi, and that's why I recommend you should do too. Exploring the real Britain, I travel around a lot, sometimes to a new town, every day. That means that I have to use a lot of different public Wi-Fi networks from hotels to pubs to cafes and this leaves me vulnerable. If you are using public Wi-Fi and your connection is unprotected, you are vulnerable too. However, if you use NordVPN, you will be protected from man-in-the-middle attacks like Dodgy Dave is trying to entrap me with here. A virtual private network reroutes your traffic through a remote server, encrypting it in the process. This hides your data from snoopers like Dodgy Dave, who set up fake networks in convenient public locations to harvest users' data. <laughs> NordVPN has many other features too, including the ability to change location virtually. Have you ever been denied access to your favourite content whilst abroad because that content isn't available in that region? Simply choose the relevant region from the drop-down list and you can watch whatever you want, wherever you want. NordVPN is a risk-free service that makes you safer online with a single click. If you use the link nordvpn.com forward slash Wendell, you'll get an extra four months on top of any two-year plan. That's nordvpn.com forward slash Wendell. Back to the video. There's nothing to do around here. Nothing? Nothing at all. So how do you pass your days? I'm here on my own again. There's nothing around here. Do you go to any of like the local pubs or anything? Are any of the pubs good? Or? No, local pubs, because they're too dear. Yeah. 
and then you, you're paying four pound for a pint. Four pound now, yeah. Like you can get four of them for two pounds. Yeah, so you're just drinking Pepsi at the moment? Yeah, yeah. I hate to be that one. There's nothing around here at all. When the bodies were going, there's a lot of work about you, you get a job anywhere. Now, everybody's on the door. Or, there's no work about. I spoke to quite a few people today and they, they are all seem quite down in the dumps. They say that they're bored oh, and that there's not a lot of opportunity. There's nothing to do with you around here. No. All, no. The, all I do is sit here. That's a shame, mate, yeah. Have you got any family? Well, my wife's dead and like my daughter's got kids. Yeah. So I don't bother them. Yeah. Because they had an odd life when their mother was alive. How long ago did your wife die? Ten years ago, so I... Felt a bit like on your own since then? Yeah, yeah. 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 I keep myself to myself. Nobody bothers me, I don't bother them. Nice, peaceful, easy life, yeah? Well, that's it, yeah, that's what I like. I've seen a few people around yeah. that seem to be, like, quite high on drugs and things like that. Do you think it's dangerous in the town centre now? Or? Well, uh, I don't trust the drugs. I used to be an alcoholic one time, and the doctor said to me, if you keep drinking like that cider, you'll be dead before you know it. That was more, I was about 40 then. Now I'm 70, 75 now. Yep. But since I've been off the drink, off the cider, my life's been easier and I have no problems. In yeah, yeah. I just keep going and that's it. Yeah, so you'd recommend to anybody that's drinking too much that they can move their yeah. life around if they well, drink less? You drink inside it. They say it's a good drink, but it used to make me violent. Did it? Yeah. yeah. I can't imagine that now, sitting oh, no, here with no, you. Well, you're the most peaceful man I've met all day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but you turned, uh, you used to turn quite violent when you had a lot of cider. Well, no cider, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't let nobody come near me go away. Really? Oh, uh, yeah. You could pick a fight with yourself in the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that's, well, well, I used to be a bugger tangent. I mean, I've done jails, I've done board schools, preschools. I've done all that things. And I've got, I haven't been in trouble now for 10 years. OK, good man. Yeah. So you've lived quite a colourful life. Oh, I've been everywhere, mate. Right? Yeah. I've been with school, Liverpool Prison, Walton. I've done that. I've done Preston Prison. I've done Stafford. One down Bristol, one down Bristol area. I've been all over them. So you spent quite a bit of time in prison as well? Yeah, yeah. 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 And you think that was drinking the side of it? That's what, what led you into those bad bit, situations? Yeah. 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 What sort of what sort of charges did were you in for? I was a burglar. Okay, mate. Yeah. I school robbing houses. Not the poor. I was on the big estates. There I go. They got money. So I was them places. Did the business around there. But I don't see that was years ago. I packed all that out now. Done your time for your crime. Learned your lessons. Oh, you I, think yeah. yeah? Yeah. Keep yourself to yourself. Well, that's the best way. It's nothing to be proud of. Now, do you feel bad about those things looking back now? Benefit of hindsight? Yeah, because uh, when I see these younger people now, they're on drugs and all that, I don't go with I've tried to tell them about it, but they don't listen. Yeah, if I should listen to anyone, they should listen to someone like you as well. Someone that's walked in there yeah. in the shoes they're now walking in. You got any life advice for you? Obviously, you've lived such an eventful life. Have you got any life advice for anybody that might watch the video? Relax and then do the life you take. Yeah. Because you're a long time dead. You are, mate. Yeah. There's no coming back at all. No, there's not, mate. Uh, yeah. That's how I am now. Yeah, good man. Yeah. Thanks for talking to me, Joseph. Right, Thank bro. you very much, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I, everybody that I bump into, I always sit and have a conversation because you can always learn one thing from every person you yeah, meet. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I said they don't bother me. I don't bother them because they know what I was in the time. So you've got a bit of a reputation around yeah, here, have you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they've put up this 
really cool board which is called the face of Stoke-on-Trent this um, like exhibition and it's all the different faces of the people that live here but even this has been vandalised they've ripped off some of the pictures and it looks all right state very grim very depressing you know a town's in a bad way when it can't even keep its cash converters open hard times in Stoke have you got any opinions for the camera about what life's like in Stoke? Shit. Yeah, I Why'd you say that? I've seen the place. <laughs> I have, yeah. You just see it's all going rusty. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did I just miss it, did I? Yeah. That yeah. Have been, uh, yeah. Prime yeah. content. This is the town centre, the shopping precinct of a city of 250,000 people in the conurbation. A quarter of a million people. But look how dead it is. Just a handful of people walking around the town square. Nothing um, good about Stoke. Nothing about Stoke at all. No, it's it's crap, mate. Unless you, unless you want to make some smackheads and crackheads, you'll be alright. I think everybody does it to, to themselves. Everybody, you know, everybody's got an addiction, everybody's got things, but that doesn't mean you have to be horrible to people. If you've got a good art, you'll always win in the end. That's all I can say. Good man. All the best, mate. I've been in Hanley for a couple of hours now and I can genuinely say that I think the Reginald Mitchell, the Weatherspoons, is probably the best thing in town. It's actually quite a nice Weatherspoons, palm trees outside. Yeah, but that says a lot about Hanley. What's Stoke like in 2023? I'm walking around, there's a lot of boarded up shops. Yep. What's the vibe in the town? Not very good, bros. I think it's like the council's trying to get the people... Oh, let me turn this off, sorry. Yeah, that's just probably good for the camera, yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> but you're all mic'd up. Yeah. <laughs> no, uh, it's, it's, it's... Every time we go to a lot of towns and places, and where, wherever we go, Anley or stoke on Trent's no different at the most of the places. All the shops are being boarded up, and you'd think you'd, you might give the retailers a bit of a break by the, the, the price, drop the price a bit like, but they don't seem to. I think it's just... It's just how the world is, full of greed at the minute. Stoke-on-Trent is a bit of a shit tip. Everything's just... I've stopped caring. Everything's just thrown out on the streets. Shops boarded up and the people that live here seem to have given up on the town. Very, very sad. This was a club, yeah? What have you got to rip out? All the flooring, everything? Yeah. Strip it down to the bare bones and then probably flats, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything in this town is just like this. Leveling up Stoke on Trent. It can't come soon enough, to be honest. I thought I'd tie up my video in the nicest part of Hanley. But I could find Hanley Park. Isn't it wonderful? It's definitely the most pleasing on the eye part of this very grim town centre, Hanley. Now, I'm sure a lot of people in the comments they're going to write and say, Wendell, you've been unfair on the area. It's got lots going for it. I know that it's got the Staffordshire University, that's quite important to the town. I'm sure it's got some other things going for it that I haven't stumbled across. But I'm just giving my first impressions and coming here, visiting this declining post-industrial town, or city I should say, it doesn't really feel like a city. Hanley is a depressing place. It's really grim and it's not pleasing on the eye and a lot of the people that I spoke to, they were not positive about their lives here and about the town in general. So I can only say it as I see it, folks. Hanley definitely is a town that seems to have lost hope.